Have you ever run out of waypoint memory on your Garmin display? In this episode of Four Ribs Fishing, I'll show you both the hard and easy ways to clear out those old waypoints. The reason I've run out of memory is because I bought a uh, SD card with uh, a bunch of waypoints already loaded on it and I loaded it onto my machine and then uh, of course I've added uh, hundreds myself and oftentimes I'll just mark a spot where I see fish, uh, school fish, school bait fish and we'll run over it a couple times uh, and I forget to go back and delete them. So I've you know amassed a large quantity of waypoints, some of them real, uh, some of them you know points that friends gave me, uh, some of them, you know, just fish marks, school marks, uh, bait marks that I could delete. Anyway, uh, I've hit the limit of 5,000 um, that the Garmin device can hold in memory, so got to do something about it today. I'm going to go to my info screen, user data, waypoints, and I could see available zero out of 5,000. So that must mean I have 5,000 waypoints. So here's what I'm going to do to rectify that. One option is to go through and delete one by one waypoints that you know aren't necessary. And look, I have a couple right here by my dock. million of them. Look at all these. Right next to where my slip is. I don't know why I do that. By now you can tell this is the hard way to delete waypoints. If I had to sit here and select each one and delete, you know, hit, hit I don't know what, two or three buttons for each one and delete, uh, I would be here forever. Let's see what that did for us. So I just deleted 33, but that was kind of painstaking to do it in that method. So I'm gonna download them all to a card. Let's see if there's an easier way to do this. First step is to download all of my waypoints into an SD card like this. And so I'm going to go to data transfer. I want to say saved card. I want to put a card in. I'm going to put it into slot two here. Put it in the right way, Mike. Uh, I want to say oh, manage card. I am going to save to card. Slot two. Select. That's the file, backup ADM. Make sure you can see this on the camera. Backup ADM, save to card. I already have a version of it on this card, so I'm gonna say yes, overwrite it. I'm gonna copy all my waypoints. If I had any uh, paths, auto guided paths or routes, those would be saved over as well. And everything is done. All right, close. Pop this out. Now I can bring it home and do some editing on my personal computer. First, you're going to need to download the Garmin Basecamp software. And if you just do a Google search for Garmin Basecamp, you'll find this page on the Garmin website. Uh, download and install this to your PC. When you first pop that card in your PC, the Garmin Express app wants to uh, help you uh, do the work that you want to do, but I'm going to dismiss that temporarily and just make, up, make some backup files uh, of this card. And basically what I'm going to do is navigate uh, to that file on the card. I'm just going to drag it over to the PC and I'm actually going to make a few different copies. Uh, I really like having backups before I start editing. Uh, an important file like this. And now I've installed Garmin Basecamp. 
I'll launch that. So here I've already popped the card in and the Garmin base camp recognized the file. Okay, it doesn't look exactly like the map. But I could see a lot of my waypoints on here. This is the Raritan Bay here. See my crazy uh, path that day, whatever day that was. All right, let's try a couple things. Click on it, right click, oh, right click delete. Right click delete. Delete, I like it. try something else. Let's try holding down the shift button and doing a multi-select. Okay, got a bunch of them selected. Let me just hit the delete button and see what happens. Oh! So much better. So much better. All these white lines are individual tracks uh, that the Garmin has uh, recorded for me as I was driving around. And by the end of the season, I'll have a mess of these and I'll just end up deleting them all. Uh, but it would be nice if I could selectively uh, clean them up. I, you can see I went into one of them and the level of detail uh, the metadata that they have. They have uh, it's recording the temperatures, it's recording depths. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Um, I, think in, I think I may try to see how I could pull that data out and, and use it uh, maybe for some more in-depth logs of my fishing trips in the future, but for now I just really want to clean this up and make some space. Okay, once you've done all your editing, you're going to come up here to File, Export, export the name of your file which mine is backup it's going to ask you where you want to export it to you're going to go to your sd card user data and export that now you have it on your card to bring back to the boat from within your chart go to info user data delete all data and I'm going to select the web points and select all and then I'll confirm and say yes delete all my waypoints it's okay because I have them up, backed up on the card, I have them backed up on my PC and if we go back to info user data waypoints you can see I have 5,000 available completely empty okay there's nothing up my sleeve except for a 4 gig SD card I'm going to put that into slot 2 and we're going to see manage card and I'm going to say replace from card it's going to say which slot slot 2 replace selected file it's going to confirm the file and then it's going to bring over our edited file that we created on the PC and it's going to bring over it's going to say no paths and boundaries that's okay cuz I deleted them and now we're going to go back and we're going to go see out of all my waypoints I have 301 out of 5,000 available so that was pretty successful. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and tight lines.